Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Pabli. So guys, here I bring to you some amazing automation techniques by which you can do your work very easily, efficiently and hassle free. And in this video, I would like to show you an automation process by which you can automatically add or create customers in your Wave CRM application whenever you receive any order on your e-commerce store. Right now, let me show you how the workflow of this automation will look like. So here I have taken the example of WooCommerce store, okay, an e-commerce store created with the help of WooCommerce. And whenever any order is created here in this store, what will happen? The person who is making the order will get automatically saved here in Wave CRM application as a new customer. Yes, guys, this can happen. And to make this happen, we are using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So what Pabli Connect will do, it will connect these two applications together such that whenever you receive a new order from your e-commerce store, the person who is making the order will get saved here in your CRM application automatically. And the best part of making this automation, guys, is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So any non-technical person can also make this automation. So now let me show you a demo on my screen of how this automation is going to work and how you can also make it. So guys, this is my computer screen and here you can see I'm in my online e-commerce store created with the help of WooCommerce. And here I would like to show you that whenever any customer purchases anything from this e-commerce store, the same customer will get transferred here in my Wave CRM application and added here in this list of customers. Okay, like this. So let me show you. Uh, let us purchase a thing from here. So I'm purchasing this thing, uh, this smartwatch, let's say. Okay, and uh, I'm adding this uh, product to cart. Okay. And from here, I'm going to click on proceed to checkout. Okay. And you can see the billing details are like this. Uh, let me let me change the name of this person. Let's say the person who is buying this is Harsha. Yadav. Okay. So Miss Harsha Yadav is buying this product. And these are all the details of the customer and now i am placing this order by clicking here on place order okay so you can see the order is processing here so guys here you can see the order is completed now it is started showing thank you your order has been received okay and these are all the details of the order now let's check if this same person Harsha Yadav get added here in my wave application or not so uh, this is my wave application and this is the list of the customers and let me refresh this list list here okay okay so let me check if we got the details and you can see uh, miss harsha yado get added here automatically in this list like this okay and it has all the details of this person like this that we got from this order here you can see the address right address is same the mobile number and the email id too so this is how it is going to happen in real time now i know you are wondering how i managed to bring this data of a customer here so let me show you how you can also make this automation so guys to start setting up this automation first you have to log into your public connect account okay for that first you have to sign up here and from this page uh, by typing the URL like this pabli.com p-a-b-b-l-y pabli.com slash connect you will reach this page and from here you can set up your free pabli connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button okay after setting up your account you can sign in and when you sign in you will reach on this page the all apps section of pabli from here you have to come to this pabli connect panel and click on access now so that will bring you to the dashboard of pabli connect here like this so this is the place where you have to start actually working and you can create this automation by creating a workflow here like this okay so to create a workflow you just have to click here on this create workflow button okay and here you have to give any suitable name to a workflow according to you so let me give the name here so guys i have filled the name here as send woocommerce customers data in wave crm okay 
After this, you can click here on create button and you, you can see your workflow getting created like this. And on this page, when a workflow get created, you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pavli Connect do this. All right. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new order happening in our WooCommerce e-commerce store. And the action to that trigger would be to add the same customer in Wave CRM application as well. Okay, so first of all, you have to set your trigger application. So for that, click on this trigger window. And from this choose app field, choose your trigger application, which is WooCommerce. Okay. And now you have to select the trigger event. So our trigger event is any new order. So you have to select here order updated option okay click on order updated and this will generate this url so this is called as a webhook url so with the help of this we are going to connect woocommerce with pavli connect okay so you have to follow these instructions here okay so you have to go to our settings of woocommerce so you can read the whole instructions let me show you the process first of all you have to click on copy here like this and it will start showing this waiting for the webhooks response here. Uh, so you have to go to your WooCommerce store dashboard. Okay. So this is my WooCommerce plugin in WordPress. I'm clicking here. And from here you have to click on settings. Okay. Click on settings of WooCommerce. And from this page, uh, you have to click on advanced option and from here you will find this webhooks option in the page setup you will find this webhooks option click on webhooks okay and here from this page you have to click here on this add webhook button okay to set up the webhook so click on add webhook like this and another page will open up here here you have to give the name to your uh, webhook that you are setting up so you can uh, uh, give any name i am putting it something like this okay and here in this status you have to select the status as active okay and in this topic you have to select order created right this order created option and in this delivery URL, you have to paste the URL, the webhook URL that you have copied from Babli Connect. Okay, this one. So you have to paste it here in this delivery URL field like this. Okay. And after that, just click here on save webhook button. Okay, so you can see the webhook is setting up here and it is saved, right? Like this, you can see. And here you can see in Pavli Connect, it started showing this webhook ID. That means our webhook is set. Now we are going to uh, click here on recapture webhook response so that we can capture the data of a new order here in Pavli Connect. Okay. So click on this recapture webhook button. Click on yes. Okay. So it will start showing waiting for the webhook response again. And this means we have to do a test submission. Uh, or to do a test submission, what you have to do, you have to make a test order in your store. So I'm going to my store again. So guys, I'm in my e-commerce store again, and here I'm purchasing this product, this Philips trimmer. Okay. So I'm clicking on proceed to checkout, and this is a demo order. Actually, this is not a real order. Just to capture the response in Pavli Connect, we are making this order. So guys, now the person who is uh, uh, purchasing this trimmer is uh, Akib Khan, which is me only. Okay. And uh, these are all the details of mine and I'm going to place this order from here. Okay. So I'm clicking on place order and you can see the order is processing here. It will take a few minutes. Let it be, let the process happen. Okay. So now we are on the checkout page. You can see, okay, so our order is completed now. 
So let's check in Pabli Connect if we get the response of this order. Okay, so you can see here in this Webhook response, it is showing the data of the new purchase like this. Okay, it is showing the details of the customer, the address, the contact details, and all the details that I have filled initially in the order. Okay, now I want to add the same customer in Wave CRM application. For that, what you have to do, you have to click on this action step, and from this choose app field, you have to choose your action application which is wave okay so this is wave we have and in this action event you have to select create a customer option because we are adding the persons here in this customers list okay you can see so uh, select this option create a customer then click on connect okay and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with wave okay so, okay, so this will bring you to the login window of Wave if you are not logged in. And as I, as I, you can see, I have already logged in in my Wave. So now it is just asking for giving the access. So you have to give the required access to create a customer in Wave. So just click on allow access and you will see that we are going to be connected with Wave application. You can see the authorization is successful and now it is start, started showing connected here. And now it is asking for the business's name. So our business's name is Pavli here, you can see. So it, it is selected automatically like this. And here it is asking for the customer or, or business's name. Enter name or business name of the customer, it is saying. So here you can enter the name of the business of the customer or the name of the customer himself. So we have the data of the customer here in this first step in the response that we have captured. So we are going to map the details of the customer from here only. So for that, you have to come here in this tab, click on this field and you will find this WooCommerce option here. And when you click on it, you will find all the details here of your customer. So you'll find the uh, name of the customer here like this, map the name, okay. And it is asking first name and last name. So let let me map the name here again in the first name in the last name okay where is the last name sorry this is the last name here we have right and in the email let me map the email here so you will find the email from the same place you can see this is the email right and the mobile number we have the mobile number too let me show you this is the mobile number map it okay and we do not have these things right now so i'm leaving them blank and in this address if you want to map the address you can map the address as well okay so we have the address too so in, when you map these things what will happen whenever a new order will be created the, or, the order will be captured by pabli automatically and uh, send to wave automatically because we are we have mapped the things okay so in this city let me map the city as well okay so in the country so i am leaving all these things blank i just filled the required things which i have already here and when you click here on save and send test request you will see that this same person will be added here in our customers list here in a wave crm application okay so let us click here on save and send test request and you can see it started showing this kind of response here. Okay, so let's uh, see in our wave application if we got the data of this person. So I'm refreshing this list of customers here in wave and uh, let's see. Okay, and you can see that we have Akib Khan added here. Okay, so it is showing all kind of things that we have mapped. You can see the address, the city, the mobile number and the email as well. So our connection with wave is working properly and our workflow is completed. Now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in this trigger window, we selected our trigger application, which was WooCommerce. Okay. And then we, with the help of this URL, webhook URL, we connected our e-commerce store with Fably Connect. After that, we captured the test data to test the connection and to map the details uh like this okay first we captured the data of a new demo uh, pre-order 
like this then we in this action step connected our wave application to create a customer then we map the details that we got from the first step like this okay and finally when i clicked here on save and send test request you have seen that the person is added here in wave like this okay so now you just have to save this workflow and guys you can use this same workflow because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start running this automation instantly so guys this is it for today's video if you want any other type of integration you can contact us at admin at the redpebbly.com you can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link and guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integrations using many different softwares by Pebbly Connect and automate your business with Pebbly Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.